All right, let's do this. Um, what do I want to do? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try on healing build. That sounds cool. All right. Um, give me a broom because it's on sale and it's nice. Honestly, might even pick up this what stone potentially. I'm gonna get this water stuff. Might as well. I'm gonna get the bones. It's on sale. I can always just sell it later if I want to. Um, give me garlic. What stone goes there? And I will take the space. Could get a spike shield. Maybe potentially spike shield might not be horrible. Maybe. Man, but it takes up a lot of space. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on a spike shield. Okay. Getting you a little combination. Double DPS hurts me, but not enough. Not enough. Good game. Wow. Give me another what stone. Oof. I mean, why not? I guess. Um, I could just sell it, right? Roll. Ooh, I need all three of you. Speaking of getting all three of them, selling these would give me four gold, which is seven. I need eight to get both of these. I know I definitely need this. Definitely need this guy. I mean, I guess I could just wait for these two. It's not like I'm in a super crazy rush or anything like that. So we'll just wait for those two. Little pyromancer. Okay. They don't have anything crazy. And that one singular spike. I got to see how much damage that one singular spike did because it kind of helped 14 damage and we ended off with how much health at the end 10 we might have lost that if it wasn't for the spikes honestly um we got nine you know yeah give me this um and give me this okay we setting up so far i would like to get i would like to get another why is your backpack all the way up there i would like to get another broom because that would be great i'd say we lose this because yeah <laughs> Definitely, but I need to get myself another broom. That would be wonderful. Roll. Wow, speaking of getting another broom and we got ourselves a health potion. I will be taking that for sure. Um, a situation like this. I guess we can move both of these down by two because that doesn't hurt. And these can go back in there. And then, uh, yeah, these can go like this. That works for me. That works for me. That looks good. I like the way that looks. What are we going against? Okay, little shovel, a hero sword, cross section thing. It's actually not a bad build, to be fair. They don't have a bad build. I just think ours is better because of the whetstones, honestly. Those whetstones are definitely helping. Blueberry is good. Um, fanny pack. I'll take a fanny just for some more space. Stop giving me this. I don't want this. Um, roll. Ooh, gloves of haze, chip sapphire. I'll take this. We're gonna reserve the chip sapphire. You're gonna go right back here. Boom, boom. This can go here to tilt both of these sideways. Fit that inside of the storage coffin. And uh, we don't wanna really use mana for anything. So I guess we'll just do this to keep that 7% of the damage that we deal as healing. Cause it wouldn't be too bad, right? Ooh, I see that chili there. He's also got double bananas, which is pretty freaking insane, honestly. I say we lose this. His food is just too great, and he has infinite DPS scaling because he has infinite heat generation. He's got double bananas to back it up, too. So, yeah, more than likely, definitely losing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Good game, though. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take this, that. Can I please get a mana orb? Because that's uh, <laughs> kind of all I want right now. It's a nice, juicy orb of mana. I'll take this, though. Uh, we'll put that there. That way, both of you guys have fannies. They're a little bit... They're already fast and strong. I don't really want to put the gloves on them, to be honest. To be honest, honest. Um, Saving those for later. I don't really, I don't really want to combine them, so I'm kind of just saving them for later. Ah, uh, spikes build, bro. Not good. Not good. We don't really have the survivability, and every time we hit, we do damage to ourselves. Not good. That's fine. Hopefully, maybe, potentially, maybe. Give me both of those. That's what I need. I will be taking you, and which means we don't really need the deck of cards anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I want this, but I need... Oh, my gosh. No, you did not. Give me those. Why? You know I need those, too. You know I need those. Um... Damn, I should have kept the freaking deck of cards so I can actually activate this thing. 
Um, what do we do here? What do we do here? We have a lot of mana tools. I'm just gonna get a combination for those, I think. Uh, that, it, this is never gonna activate. I guess we'll just put it somewhere, I guess. Um, I didn't think about a cause of attack, but no, because I need the gloves. I need the gloves to stay gloves. The gloves staying gloves is good. I will just stick with this. Next round has to be a really good. I need a mana orb next round. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a mana orb next round. We need to win this round too. Our poison generation is better, but they have spike shield. Oh, barely won. Barely won, but we really needed that win. 21 gold. Give me alchemist. Give me this. <laughs> the sooner that thing hatches, the better, okay? Because we have no weapons at all, which is like really bad right now. Um, We can do this. Some situation like this would work for me. Um, we need to upgrade. Um, thinking about selling this, honestly. I would get this next round. I need a mana orb. I need a mana orb. Oh, yeah, we definitely lost. A great double dragon scale armor. What a great, yeah. We're gonna hit three shot here. Unless he just misses because he's blind. Miss. Come on. God damn it. Ah, dang it. Okay, okay, okay. Ding, ding. Mana orb. Let's go. Okay, got a mana orb. We got a mana orb. We have a mana orb. Next round is gonna be an amazing round. Um, can we win this round though? Is the question. Will this round be winnable for us? I don't know, but I'm about to find out. Uh, we need a combination, so I guess that can go there, and I could just move this over here instead. That works. You need to go somewhere. I honestly don't even know if these matter. I'm not using mana for anything, so like those don't matter, do they, right? Like, right? They don't matter, right? I feel like they just don't matter. Um, I guess I could just put them anywhere. This can just be for stamina generation? <laughs> what? Is that a... We, we lost. We lost. A freaking light goober, bro? Really? Is it a little bit too early for that? Did we proc in mana orb? I wasn't expecting to proc it, but we still lost. Definitely. All right, that's our last L though, okay? Ding, we can sell you, selling you, selling you, buying this, buying that. Uh, roll. Not really seeing the things that I want to see, unfortunately. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, okay. Okay, uh... Um... What do I want to do here? Let's move you there. And then we'll do a little situation like that, first and foremost. This can... Um, let's move everything over by one. Because I want to get an activator on this potion we just bought, right? And we can also get an upgrade at the same time. But with this being the way that it is... Um, I'd like to use it on the on that guy, but then it's not gonna be activated, which is the issue, right? This also needs to be upgraded. These are gonna go here. That's gonna go there from our mana generation. I don't really need these. I guess I could keep the chip. That fires, I guess. I guess they wouldn't hurt hurt too much. Uh huh. Okay, maybe that's fine. I'd rather have it actually activate than it be next to the Shield of Aelor. Well, actually, never mind. That solves, that solves all my issues. Well, then again, I do have this health potion here. And now it'd be a double activator versus a single activator. Or I do this. Not sure which one I want to do. I do want to turn that into a mana potion, though. So maybe this is the better way to go about it yeah this is definitely a better way to go about it that can go there um 
I guess that can just go there and we don't really need stamina, so this thing is kind of useless. Give me a free roll though. Okay. Okay, that, this wasn't hor horrible. That wasn't horrible. Yeah, that wasn't horrible. That wasn't horrible. What are we going to get? Spike shield? With uh, a bunch of weapons? And no mana generation, so your spike shield is useless. Wonderful. We got all of that for defense. And now we're just pounding you with a bunch of damage from the magic staff. Which is brilliant. Good game. Good game. Give me some space. Oh, another mana orb is beautiful. More space for gold. Selling you, getting this. That should be all the space that I need, realistically. And I can do this. Now, I don't know. Should, should I... Should I use my Ruby Chunk for damage or magic? I actually don't know. Because I could just do this. And that's one super fast Ruby Chunk doing 20 to 25 damage per hit. Versus just, you know, a magic staff, right? Um. But then again, I'd rather it be like this. You know what I mean? Or like some, you know, like, like this would be best, I think. Because at least they're both inside of the fannies, which... I think it's just a better play. Then again, that would be a lot more mana. But I could I, I could just do this, right? So I guess it's not like super deep, you know what I mean? Um, and for this, we could do that. Or that's better. Yeah, that's better. Um, This guy can go here for hmm, i guess i could use that as an activator and that can go there this here there there is there a better way to set this up i'm actually not sure i just care about this being inside the fanny pack this is generating mana and heat mana and heat, or just mana this is heat and mana because the you know chip sapphire and then that's going to be a lot of mana and everything oh i need to change this around because i need moon shield yeah, I need Moonshield. Um, um, okay. I need Moonshield, so this has to go here. Realistically. And I think I just do this to get that combination. Yeah, I think I just do that just to get the combination at that point. Okay, this works because I need the combination here getting the upgrade here the only bad thing is that the strong stone skin isn't connected to the shield of Valor that's my only issue but eh, it's not that big of an issue right whoa frozen flame with flame whip and I'm assuming you're trying to go Excalibur that's a combination I have never seen before <laughs> very interesting good game though um another bb i'll take space i'll take okay this is what i'm looking for holy armor roll yes actually i feel like it's just better to put the ruby chunk on the speed like honestly it's just it's faster realistically right like that is faster if I am not mistaken, that is faster. Um, it's gotta be a better way for me to set this up. Cause you have to go there. This guy, mm, it's not gonna be able to touch that strong skin potion, is it? So I guess I could do like this. But I don't like that. <laughs> I actually do not like that. I'm not a fan of the way that's looking right now. Mainly because it's only got one star. Uh, I think I'd rather just do this. Yeah, I think I'd rather just do this. Even though it's not touching, I mean, at least it's two stars versus one star, you know what I mean? Could make it three, but no. I think I'd rather just boom, boom, add those stars to it. 
maybe even do a little situation like this. Uh, and then this guy can just go there. Not getting a combination. And, uh, yeah. I think that's good to me. Super fast Ruby Chunk versus Ripshaw, Lightsaber, and a Mana Thirst. And a Leaf. Very interesting combination that you have. Very, very, very interesting. But that's game. GG's. Wow, that's a pumpkin. Four, five, six, seven. I'm missing two. I guess I could sell both of these. Like that. And then just sell this, because, yeah. Because I'm going to need space for this guy to go somewhere, right? Now, the question is, this is going to activate at the start of the game. So I wonder if this is better. And if that is better, then in that case, this is better. Because this is going to insta-activate, which is going to make these activate. Which is going to be uh, give me a lot of mana at the start of the game to feed the magic staff. Which is pretty much the plan, right? And if that's the case, then I... Well, I guess I could move everything down by one. Move this here. Move this up here. Um, and, like, fit more food into those star slots. Like that, just to make the cauldron as fast as literally possible. And still achieve everything that I wanted to achieve. You know what I mean? So... This is probably the better thing to do, right? I think so. I think so. Ooh, sun armor with lightsaber. That's gonna be a lot of blind. I have one blueberry to combat all this blind. But we're just gonna be missing a bunch until that blind calms down. Is it gonna calm down? I think we actually lose. What's our accuracy? 35, 35? We're hitting for fifties though. Okay, we actually win. Never mind. Yeah, we need. If I had like a something, this is because yeah, burning banner removing the clovers that my uh, my blue bear was generating. So we really couldn't do anything there. What is with these rolls and why are they so bad? At least we got some blueberries. That's good. At least I'll take this because I'm not trying to do that. Um. Guess that is better. We'll roll with this. Hopefully we don't go against another blind build. That would suck. Whoa. How did you get a Korish puppy? Oh, because of gift? That's that's actually kind of cool. You got a cool little setup going. You need to move this down by two, but you got a cool little setup going. My good sir. GG's. Hello. There goes the unhealing staff that we were talking about. Um, we don't really need another gloves of haste, to be fair. So I'm just not gonna get it. We are kind of maxed out on fanny packs, too. I'm looking for a mana. I want to turn this into uh, moon armor. So I'm looking for a mana orb. Oh, wow. Hello. Sometimes the game just stalks you, bro. I swear. I'll take that, though. And this guy can just go here. To make that guy even faster. And we're just going to put... I, I feel like we generate enough mana. So we're going to put them on the armor slots instead. For the defense factor that we kind of need kind of need and we'll stick with this okay looks like you're going for a ultra gooby i love how we just insta proc a freaking mana orb and still got mana left over that is hilarious that is hilarious yeah this is game for sure even without us having the unhealing staff it's still just it's still just game Ding. I'm gonna get you and you. Don't need anything there. Another orb with four gold. I should probably take. Um, if and you know what? Let's do this as well. We'll do that. All of these can go in their respective. Oh, I only have two armor slots. Um, oh no, this is a amethyst. Yeah, we can sell you. Okay. Oh, I need to sell one more thing. I don't need the you anymore. That'll work for me. This is looking good, though. Right? Is there anything I would change here? I don't think there is. I think we just, uh, we stick with this. Yeah, I think we just stick with this because we generate enough mana. 
We're going against a mana thirst and a hungry blade. We have 500 block because of all the mana that we generate at the start of the game. And we're just going to keep getting faster and faster and faster because we have Ruby Chunk on the case. And then our healing situation is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. How are you still alive? I don't know how that person was still alive, but this build is insane. Ding! Um, honestly, I'm considering getting the Shield of Valor. If I were to, like, rearrange this, personally, I feel like I would do it like this. Or uh, an iteration of this. Like, maybe do... something like this instead. That way, that's still inside of Fanny Packs. That, those are still inside of Fanny Packs. Um, we can move these down by one. Still achieve our goal of that. Maybe. Because I was thinking about getting another shield, right? But that wouldn't be... Well, I guess I could put it here. And it still touches that other potion. That wouldn't be bad, actually. I think we're going to do that. And I can get me another moon shield. Which is even more mana. Okay, this build is insane. And I give me another blueberry. Because why not? I see it. Oh, wow. I might as well. <laughs> For the mana generation. For the horde. Oh, give me that. Give me that. I don't even need any more jewels. Realistically, like. I feel like I'm good on jewels, man. I'm going to sell you and this to buy this guy. I mean, I only got one more armor slot that I need to fill, so I could just buy another jewel, I guess. 422 armor. Damn! And then the Insta Burst taking away, like, what, 200 health? Insta Burst is over now. And they just die. Oh, they didn't die. Not yet. Now they die. Now they die. Oh, got me another jewel. What about that? All right, give me another jewel. Only thing I need now is blue jewels. That's the only thing I'd want. This is more blue jewels, I guess. Or, you know, it's just, I, I guess that works too, more mana. Everybody loves mana. I'm looking for like one big jewel. It's not gonna happen. This is. One big jewel on sale is not going to happen. I kind of do want to buy this. I guess I could. All right, here's the build. Oh, look at it. Isn't it pretty? Here's a freaking build. We're gaining a dookie ton of block at the very beginning of the game because of all the armor that we have with moon armor. Insta procking the two strong skin potions, which connect it to the moon shield, which are giving me a bunch of mana at the beginning of the game. And when we gain all that mana, we also gain even more block because of all the flawed sapphires that we have inside of the armor slots. And on top of that, we can start with a nice chunk of mana and a nice chunk of block for the unhealing staff to do its work, which it probably won't be doing anything as far as healing goes because we have a bunch of block. But that's why the Ruby Chunk is here, because the Ruby Chunk gives us a bunch of key and when. when we lose all that block from the opponent. Everything is just fast and we just heal like a shit ton. And then the, um, yeah, the collagen's just there looking pretty. What build is like 554 block at the very beginning of the game and an ore proc with 22 mana left over after the ore proc. That means we got like, what, 52 mana at the start of the game, which is insane. But what is this that we're going against? Is this an insta proccing degen lamp? Definitely not insta proccing, but he might be trying to proc a degen lamp at least. Potentially interesting. Okay, he's got an interesting build going on here, but his damage is lacking, severely lacking, and he's gaining infinite mana, which he'll probably get a mana or proc. And then after that, what is he gaining? Infinite vampirism for the 
for this guy and the Falcon Blade. That's pretty interesting. But our build is just better. That was a lot of heal that he just had. Like he, oh, he's healing, actually. He's healing, what, 56? Because of the uh, Ruby Chunk? Hold up. He's healing a lot because of the Ruby Chunk. Okay. Not the Ruby Chunk, the Blood Goober. With all that vampirism, Blood Goober is healing him by a lot. Surprisingly. We might lose this. Bro, what? What? His build looks like it's just a bunch of stuff thrown together, but no. That gave us a serious run for our money, bro. What? That was really cool though. Utilizing the giraffe, right, for the um the 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 infinite vampirism and then using that infinite vampirism on the blood goober while also utilizing falcon blade for the double trigger because it attacks twice and then hungry blade's jare just you know, to help with the utility of gaining vampirism at the start of the game. And, you know, it gains that damage because of vampirism as well. Really cool. I'm actually, I kind of want to try this. Really, I never, you know, I, I want to try this. I really do. I really do want to try this, but really cool build. I thought we had something unbeatable low key or at least at least hard to beat. But no, no, we're at one freaking health. And this man's almost at 100 vampirism, which is absurd. Jesus Christ, that was a really good game. Really good game, and then using the Whopper Tinger there for because he's got a shit ton of buffs for the uh for the for the freaking the the stamina generation that he's going to need, especially with us having two shields here. He's at two stamina right now, so this guy was putting in so much serious work. Man, what a freaking build! I wonder if he was going for. Now there's no way he was actually going to go for a, uh, a a a mana thirst. There's no way because he wouldn't be able to get the vampirism right, and it wouldn't be a benefit from the vampirism. Yeah. So I guess that's just there just to gain mana for a mana or proc or so, probably. But yeah, that was, I don't know why you got to, I think this was useless. But yeah, that's, this is a really cool build. But yeah, that's how our build works. There you go. Good game. That was really fun. Really freaking fun. I want to see these stats though. 961 damage on a Ruby Chunk is crazy. Very crazy, actually. So the, on the healing side, really didn't even do that much damage compared, you know, in comparison to what the Ruby Chunk did because it was super fast and hitting for 20 damage at the start of the game. And this guy did 590 damage from the Blood Goober, bro. 590 damage. That vampirism was insane. Insane. This gives me an idea. <laughs> this gives me an idea of using Falcon Blade with Staff. I'm not even going to talk about it. You're going to see it in the build. You're going to see it in the build. I see you guys later.